Okay, so to first create a digital color wheel collage, you're going to go ahead and open up a new slides presentation like I've done here. You need to go ahead and title it. You're going to title it with your name and digital color wheel. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to select both of these text boxes that come up by default and you're going to just go ahead and delete those. I delete by hitting my delete key. From there, you have a blank canvas. You only need one slide. Then you're going to go up here to where it says insert image. When you hover over it, it does say insert image. You're going to click that. And you're going to get some options. From those options, go ahead and go to search the web. Google search comes up. You're going to want to search for PNG objects. Okay, so for that, you're going to type maybe red PNG. See what comes up. You have lots of different things that come up, different shades of red. Find a photo, or maybe you want to go with a theme. If you want to do, say, for example, an Among Us theme, you could, you've got the red one here. You're going to go ahead and cl click that, click insert, and that's going to bring it up. Obviously, it's too large, so you're going to then go and scale that down. You've got your first object on there. You're going to repeat the process. Now, since we're going to do a um, an Among Us theme, maybe then we're going to go to orange Among Us, and one's got all of them, so it doesn't really work. Now, if your objects don't come up that you're looking for, then feel free to go ahead and go into a Google search and type your item in there. And here we go. And you might want to put PNG in there also. PNG has a clear or translucent background. I'm going to go ahead and click this little guy. That's a terrible rendering of that. So maybe I'll try a different one. That one's a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and double click or right click and go to copy image. That should do it. If I come in here, I can click paste. I just use um, command V or control V. I'm going to change this little guy. If you hold down the shift key, that will retain the proportions. And then you can size them and put them in where you want to go. Okay, and then I can try over here and go to yellow. Got that one, don't love it. So I'm gonna go back to my other search and just change out the color. Got my little guys here. I like this one with the flower. Copy image. Go ahead and come in here and click paste. You'll see this one now has the background still in, still in there. Um, I think in Google they don't have the option to delete the background. So if that's the case. I'll go ahead and delete that. I'm going to now go to remove.bg. I'm going to link this on the slide as well. And then you can just go from your Chromebook. You can click it, hold it, and hover up there and drop it in there. And that's going to, or at least it should go and remove the background. It looks the same, but it should be removed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click download. And then I can go back to my thing, and I'm just going to pull it up from here. It may be in your Google Drive. Now this one has the background removed, like so. We can double click to go ahead and crop it. like so. Click enter so the cropping comes off. Again, hold down the shift key to scale your little guy. Use the little handlebar thing here to rotate like so. Come back and continue. You're going to go through and find all of your characters. I would suggest you go through and you find all of the characters in the basic primary and secondary, and then go in and start, start trying to find your tertiary or your intermediate colors. Okay, I'm going to do this and work through this pretty quickly. Um, just do a little speed version of this so that way you can see the whole thing start to finish, and I'll see you at the other end.
Okay, so a couple of these have said that they're not working, so I'm going to try a different way. I'm going to go ahead and click on this to get to the larger view, and then I'm going to try pulling that up, and that one seemed to work. Sometimes you just need to troubleshoot. So now I've downloaded, bring this one up, crop, and I have my last of the basic colored objects in here. Okay. So now I can kind of go through and place these and arrange them so that they are in their basic places. Like this one, now I need to reorient. This one, I'm not going to move over all the way, and I'm going to show you why in a second, because he's really more of a more of a yellow green than a blue green, or just a solid green. So I'm going to leave him there next to the yellow. I'm going to move this orange one out a little bit to give me a little bit of space. Now I'm going to go through and fill in with my intermediate colors. Okay, so I have my orange. I need a red orange. You'll see that these are a little bit more of a darker orange or a red orange. Like this one especially is kind of like more of a rust color. Shift it a bit. Okay, this one is now the right color. In Google Chrome, you can hold down your control and your down key, down arrow, and it will shift it behind. So I'm going to move it behind a little bit, maybe up just a little, just so it overlaps just a little bit. Scale them down, move them in there. You can always go back and rearrange. So this is more of the regular orange, and then I'm going to try to find a yellow orange. I'm going to go through and fill in. The rest of my colors. Okay, and these two are the same one it looks like. So you can also try going to recolor and see if you can have any luck there. Um, it's looking like it probably won't, but this one does make it then a little bit more orange. So I'm going to go ahead and take that, move this one over, make this one my yellow orange, and pull this guy up here, send him backwards. You can also go up to the range and order and go to your send backwards there as well. So it's still a little bit big. I'm going to hold down that shift key so he stays in the right proportion. I'm just going to adjust with the arrow keys. You'll see there's a smooth transition there from red to red orange, orange, a little more yellow, orange, yellow. Like I said, I'm going to leave this guy as my yellow green. And then I'm going to go and find the rest. I'm going to find a true green, a blue green, and move around. So we'll see you when it's finished. All right, so if it comes down to it and you really just can't find the right color, like this one's still not working, but I like the position of him, I'm going to go ahead and still go to the oops, to the background uh, deleting site, take care of that, then I'm going to download it, and I'm going to go to a different site called Pixlr. I want to link that one as well. You're going to go to Advanced Pixlr E for Editor, and you're going to open your image, and again, you can just drag it into there and drop that. So now you can actually edit the color. So I'm going to go to the Fill tool, and I need to go, it's been a while since I've been here, so here's the colors. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and use the eyedropper first. I'm going to select that color, then I'm going to click here. This is going to let me know where it is. I need something that is either more blue violet or more violet. Okay, so I'm going to actually go a little bit more blue violet. So I'm going to go to about there. And I'm going to take that one, click OK. Then I can go to my fill and go ahead and go there. 
I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna go to a darker shade of that for the shadow. Click OK. Fill that in. Now I've got my colors. I'm good. I can go ahead and um, save this one. I'm just gonna say BB for blue violet. Among Us. Still saving as PNG, so it's gonna have that clear background. Click download. It's gonna go to your downloads. Then you can go back here, pull that over, go ahead and do that. And if you want to just take the same item and go through and do that to all of yours, you can do that as well. Okay, so got that. And now I've got my 12 part color wheel. Okay, so at this point, you're just going to attach your Google Doc and you'll be all set. All right, if you have any questions, be sure to email me or drop by office hours. Thanks, guys.